Hi everyone, it's Peggy Merwin with Stamp with Peggy. Um, today is Monday, September 16th. The month is half over. Can you believe that already? Um, sorry, I'm a couple minutes late, a little scramble, so I'm a little disheveled over here, but hopefully you had a good weekend. Um, we had a great weekend. I had to work our football game at school and for a little while taking tickets or selling tickets and then i worked on we have a big demonstrator event this coming weekend so i was busy doing that i was also finishing designing for my fall fest event which is saturday october 5th um so it was a busy stamping crafting weekend um as i prepare to get ready for things Holiday catalog is well into swing now. We are, what, six, ten days in. Um, hopefully you are enjoying it and some of the products that I've shared so far. Obviously there's much more to come and some online exclusive things. But I also wanted to announce, Stampin' Up! announced today that Wednesday, so two days, September 18th, they are offering a free shipping day again. So $75 orders and you get free shipping. So anybody who has not ordered from the catalog yet, it's a great time. Fall Fest people, I will be sending out the bundles that I'm using and the stamp pads and things. Um, I'll try to get that done yet tonight. It might be late, but I'll get that ready for you or at least the majority of them. Um, so yay. That's exciting. Okay, I'm seeing some of you on here. Let me get up over here. Okay, and Annie was in Minnesota. Yay! Sounds like you did have a good time. Hi, Suzanne, Diane, Annette. Um, so, can't see everybody right at the moment, but yay. Thank you so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, so tonight, you guys didn't give me much suggestions when I posted out this morning. What should we do? Halloween, fall, Christmas? Should we do cards? Should we do treat holders? Um, you kind of left it wide open. Hi, Deb. So I kind of did a little playing, and I'm going to show you one card. I actually did three. So we're going to do one together, and then I will show you the other two you have the opportunity, as I said, free shipping on Wednesday. I will put together card kits for these three cards for anybody who places an order and qualifies for free shipping on Wednesday and get these out in the mail to you. Everything will be pre-embossed um, and all that fun stuff for you. So let's go ahead and take this out of here, put this down here. Okay, give me a minute. Hi, Kim. Are you still up north enjoying fabulous weather up there? Okay, coming up. All right, I think I'm inside of all of that. Now let's pull this up a little bit. Move this a little bit. Okay. Okay, I told you about free shipping. Okay, so I'm using tonight the bundle Humble Home. Have you checked that out yet? Okay, it is amazing. And I'm going to see if I can't. When it's in my holder, I cannot get it to zoom in and it's driving me crazy. Okay, the Humble Home bundle is this amazing stamp set with the fun little houses. And then there's a coordinating punch to go along with it. So it punches the houses out. I did do some fussy cutting a little bit tonight. You can punch the windows out right here, but the door, there's not a punch for, so I actually did a little fussy cutting on the door on one of the cards. The first card we're gonna do is this house right here, okay? So let's put that out of the way. Then I wanted greetings that kind of covered a variety of holidays, seasons. So I used the thought throughout the year. This is an awesome one. Um, it may be only an online exclusive at this point, but the item number is 162312, okay? Put that on your wish list. Get that on Wednesday with your free shipping order. Okay, then I think I'm good to go. Okay, so 
still I got to find my pieces though because I put everything out of the way because my camera is so wide. But... All right, I am starting with a piece of real red that is four and a quarter by eight and a half. I scored it at five and a half. Okay, so we're folding it on the score line and make sure you burnish it well. If you don't have a bone folder yet, put that on your list. Okay, then I have a piece of basic black that is four inches by five and a quarter. That's going to go on the inside of our card. And it's going to lift up like this. And then I have a piece of basic white that is three and three quarter by five. Becky White, thank you so much for sharing. Um, you guys, and I just realized because I was scrambling so last minute, I forgot to draw names for tonight. So I will do that later and I will post it on the, the post so that you can see who gets the fun little gifts for sharing, liking, commenting, tagging everyone. Okay, then I'm using a piece of the Snowy Scenes designer paper. I think I showed this last week. This one's got candy canes on it, and then it's got houses on the other side of it. I'm going to use the candy canes as my side up. This is 2 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. Okay, and I'm going to adhere it to a piece that is two and three quarter by four inches. Isn't it cute, Judith? It's got the little snow globes with the penguin and the snowman. It's just adorable paper, and there's lots of different things you can do. You can do it for Christmas. You can do it for winter. You can just do some, I, I know I have some people that collect snow globes, so how fun would it be to do a set of cards for them with snow globes on it? Hi, Sheila. Okay, then we have a piece of basic black, another piece that is three inches by four inches, and a piece of real red that is two and three quarter by three and three quarter. And I used the fabulous new out of the holiday catalog forever plaid embossing folder. It's a big one. A full half sheet of paper will fit in here. So you could emboss your whole card, okay? Or put it on a scrapbook page. So I already did that on the real red. Now remember with these, especially with the thick 3D embossing folders, you really wanna make sure you go slow putting your adhesive on. If you try to go fast, it will tear your paper on the back. And this is an amazing embossing folder. I absolutely love this one. Okay, so we're just going to adhere it onto there. Then I cut a basic black circle, of course, using my Stylish Shapes dies. That's gonna go there. So you know what, let's just go ahead and we're gonna use dimensionals like crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna put it in the top corners. Then, remember my little trick? I lay it sideways, and then, I know, doesn't it, Cheryl? But it really does fit right in there. Fills up the whole space. Okay, so I'm putting my dimensionals within the area that it's going to sit. And then I put one more kind of in the middle. Okay, because remember, we don't like a saggy middle. All right, then this is going to go right on here. Let's see if I can get it straight. Okay, then we're going to take this basic black circle and we're going to adhere it. right to that forever plaid. And I'm just kind of centering it. Okay, then I use the Humble Home. And like I said, I'm using this one. Hi, Ruth, thanks for joining. Okay, and I stamped it twice. Once 
where I've got the whole thing and I want to make sure I can punch that out. And then the second time, I don't care because I'm just going to fussy cut these things right here out. Okay, so we're going to use our Stampin' Blends and I am using light and dark pecan pie and dark real red. Okay, so I'm going to start with the light pecan pie and I'm going to color my house. Any guesses? It's a gingerbread man house or Santa's workshop, but you know, I smell those molasses cookies. Okay, so you just gotta go slow around the little scallops. I'm seeing some hearts and some loves. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I do appreciate it. Okay, and then we're gonna come in this way and hopefully the camera is somewhat close enough that you can see. Okay, oh, I got a twitchy eye. Do you guys hate when you get that? Your eye starts twitching like crazy. Okay, so the Humble Home Bundle Again, you can, hi Donna, you can add that to your wish list. Oh, there's so many fun things. And again, it's perfect with the free shipping if you haven't ordered yet. Um, any team members who may be watching or other demonstrators, if you have not met your quarterly minimum yet, Wednesday is the perfect day to place your order. Get free shipping as a demonstrator, get your discount. If you're interested in learning about that, let me know. I'd love to talk to you. I have a great team. They are fabulous and they are some very creative people. I think Annette is watching tonight from North Carolina. I'm hoping we have a Stampin' Up! event in March in North Carolina. And I'm really hoping that Annette is planning to go so that I get a chance to meet her live and in person. I have never met her in person. We've talked on the phone, we've emailed. Okay. So I've got the main part of that all over. Then I'm going to use the dark pecan pie to color the roof. Not the scallops on the roof, just the roof and the chimney, not the icicles on the chimney. And I think I just saw Annette said, yes, she is planning to attend. It's called On Stage. It's our, used to be called Convention. So it's awesome. So again, if you're looking for a fun time, then go ahead and sign up as a demonstrator with me and we will meet in North Carolina in March. Don't want to wait that long? Pop me an email tonight and tell me you want to attend Fall Fest. And I will get supplies ordered for that. Yay, Teresa, I would love to have you go. If you can't make Fall Fest, we have Stampin' Sisters Holiday Hoop, not Holiday Hoopla, Stampin' Sisters Retreat in Rockford in March. So I give you lots of opportunities to come play. Okay, so on this second house, now I'm coloring the little outline or the wood pieces, sashes, I guess, of the windows. And then I'm coloring the door with dark real red. Okay, now we're gonna pull our punch in here. <clears throat> and my screen just went blank. Give me a second here, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna go up in here. We're gonna punch it out. You get just a little white border around it. You even get a little heart. This piece is what the window is. Okay. Then we're going to come in here. And, and I know when I was doing this card and I thought of my friend Sandy, who I've talked about, who passed away, 
Um, Sandy hated fussy cutting. And as I'm doing this, I can just hear her. Peggy Merwin. Because it's, they're kind of tedious pieces. The heart, or the door isn't bad. The windows are a little tougher, but it's still, it's so worth it. Okay, so there's the house right now. Then we're going to put that on there. And then we're going to finish cutting out. The other windows. Linda, <laughs> you can hear her too. Yep. Where's Peggy? And Peggy would be over there cutting them out. All right. There's one house or one oh, window. And then we're going to pull this other one up here. Okay, and then, yep, Roseanne, you would be the one who would be over there by her cutting it out for her, right? Okay, and that, and then, see, it's not bad. It's a little tight there, but, okay, now we're going to bring on our friend, Green Glue. Okay. Yeah, she would be saying just color it right on there and let's not even cut them out. Okay. Because the pieces are smaller, I just think the green glue works better because you can actually get in there than trying to hold it in place and put regular adhesive on it and have adhesive everywhere. And Linda, I forgot to bring my silicone mat over. Yeah, but glue dots then lift it up some too, and I didn't want that. It gives it a little bit more like a dimensional, not as big, but you can do green glue. Green glue is good. Okay. Look at how cute that is. But we're not done. We need to bring in our wink of Stella, and we need to add to our icicles so that they sparkle. And then I'm also doing the windows so that we kind of have shimmery, I don't know. I tried to do one in yellow and I really didn't like the looks of it, but it was very cute with that. Okay, now we are going to add this. Oh, I'm seeing lots of fun little things. Wink of Stella, you got it. <laughs> okay, we're going to flip this over and we're going to add dimensionals. And you're going to think I'm crazy because I'm adding a lot of dimensionals because I don't want saggy roof line. Okay, so now let's pick them off. And then we're going to place that there. And then, remember I said I used the greetings for throughout the year. I'm going to use the Happy Holidays with Memento Ink. So I'm going to open it up. Now, I want to make sure because this is wider than this part is, okay, I want to make sure I'm staying in this top portion so that it's all covered up. Oh, yay, Becky, I'm glad you like this card. Okay, so now we got Happy Holidays. Cute, but let's pull in the Real Red and White Adhesive Back Peppermints. And these aren't available right at the moment. They're supposed to be back in next week, I believe it is. Okay, so I'm going to take, there's three different sizes. I'm going to take one of the big ones. And I'm going to add it right there. And then I'm going to take one of the smaller ones. And I'm actually going to cover up the heart right there. I'm going to put a peppermint right there. Isn't that adorable? I absolutely love. It's just so cheery. Now, I decided, okay, because when you first kind of look at this set, you go, eh, I don't really know. 
you know, how many welcomes or whatever are you going to do? There is a Merry Christmas in here, but pair it with the throughout the year and then use the new Halloween paper in the scrapbooking. And I use the exposed brick embossing folder on this one. And we have a Halloween trick or treat. You know, I got a little, okay. And then I pulled iconic celebration designer paper and put a snowflake background, added snowflakes, some of the new loose snowflakes, the snowflake sky embossing folder, and cheers to you and the new year. So we're covering three seasons with one stamp set that really doesn't even look like a seasonal stamp set, right? Okay, so how cute is that? I absolutely love the way it turned out. The same shape or the same layout. Now you could turn it this way and turn your house this way. You could add a pocket right here and tuck in a gift card. We've done that before, right? It's just the possibilities are endless. Okay, anybody who would like a set of these cards, all the pieces, of course the stamping won't be done, so you do need the Humble Home stamp set. Um, you could fussy cut the whole thing without the punch, but it's a bundle that, if I remember right, it's only like $42 for that bundle because of the punch instead of dies. So that's awesome. Um, so again, with an order on Wednesday of $75 or more, I will mail you all of the pieces to be able to make these three cards. I will get a tutorial typed up, but you'll always have the video to come back and watch how it assembled. They all assemble the same way. It's just all different colors. Clean your stamps off good before you go on to the next one, right? Okay, so free shipping on Wednesday. I can't say that enough times to remind you. It starts at, it would be 1.01 a.m. our time. It's 12 o'clock mountain time, okay? And you do still get your customer loyalty token. And you know what? My September coupon code, we're going to really bonus it in here, okay? September coupon code, uh, $65 or more, so $75. And you get to choose one of these items. You get free shipping and you get one set of these. Notice I need to add some bling onto these two. I haven't done that yet, okay? So you have to be surprised at what the bling is. Okay, so gold texture adhesive dots, um, the red and white peppermints are not available right now, the earth tone shimmer gems, and the festive glimmer paper. I should do something with that next week. Okay, so you guys have a fabulous week, and I will see you next Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.